This poem, this one today, is a more darker poem about the dark side of the prison where Byron looks and insanity looms. It's called Jackal's Eye. In a fight one day, a howling convict lost an eye. Through shouts and screams, he searched all day trying to find that missing eyeball. Soon Scrooge joined a hue and cry, Where the fuck? was a convict's eye. A clipe came forward, the startling views of a fresh in sight, for he swore he knew, he swore he saw the convicts fighting from a close. Jacko, he shouted, with a long finger pointing, popped out that man's eye, then swallowed it whole. Silence descended, screams subsided, Jacko marched to segregation. Investigation, T.O.A.D., good order and discipline. Police called, forensics too, but was it true? Jacko and the convicts swallowed I. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I listened as to his arrival happened as I was down the seg myself. Arrive he did that day. Come and go, authority went, trying to figure what best to do. Come on, Jacko, have you got the convict's eye? No, sir, I have not. No, sir, not I. No, not I. The ground board grews as it came and went, but for days no eye was seen. Then next morning a loud fart was heard, coming they say from Jackal's cell. A huff and a great squeeze, a groan and a arse breeze, followed by a gentle plop. Silence hung loudly in this stable and thin air as I contemplated such sounds of despair. What would drive a man to scoop out an eye, then swallow it whole, to deny his full 50% sight? What would possess a person to go that far in an altercation? The poor fists, not weapons, but yet an eye was poked and took from its socket, then swallowed. My, 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 Jackal and his swallowed eye. A senseless waste of institutional rage, lost in insanity. Jackal, echo and laughter echoed down the landing I remember hearing as he sat in his lonely cell giggling of his triumphant moment of prison law when now he swallowed another man's eye his eye deep within his belly as his laughter echoed like a lunatic like a lunatic's lullaby sung by a distorted tongue. Within me, I silently weep as this sound echoed throughout the night, lost and trapped in their punishment cells, segregated alone for me, sadly, home. For so long I spent in such places of doom, where every moment was a moment of despair, fighting for a life they took unjustly from me, from such a young age to old and grey, I became. My misery was misery indeed, but not as miserable as that man who sat without his eye that day and jackal with the item swallowed. My, oh my, oh my. 
I bell interrupted the night. I remember it well. Screws came running, thundering and thumping, and there was two jackals' cell. Oh, you filthy animal, I heard them shout. As a jackal lost and with a squelch slammed that eye into the eye on the door, the spiral. As they looked through, they saw that squashed eye of jackals full there looking out from within that cell. Before silently it dripped and slithered down the door to cast a shadow of human waste upon that prison floor. That eye that jackal swallowed, then shied out, shit out, and pop onto a prison floor to slam it into that observation spy hole. To make a point for Jacko, you see, was lost to the mist of insanity and a revolutionary concept of ideology that kept him beaten as a subversive agitator. He was a unique individual, was Jacko, unpredictable. I first met him in the whole special unit. Oh my, Jackal was a character, indeed, sad story. But getting back to the eye, never do I forget that night, when even the hardest of the hardest felt fright. Senseless destruction of a lunatic's mind, trapped in incarceration, where life knows no bounds. That is a true story, sadly told. Of Jackal and the prisoner's eye. Jackal's eye. Like Kevin O'Neill. Over and out.